Hello and welcome to Project Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Versioning Documents. In this lesson, we will learn the three different methods to version documents. Versioning of CAD documents and non-CAD are exactly the same, but there are something to watch out for when we attach CAD references which have versions. We will also learn how to display the latest version of document or to display all versions of documents. First, we are going to modify our existing view to include version as well as sequence since these two pieces of information are related to the topic we will discuss in this lesson. All original documents that we see in the folder will begin with the sequence of zero and its version documents will be incremented by one. This number is systematic and is generated by ProjectWise. Users cannot manipulate this sequence number. Version, on the other hand, can be set by users as long as it is unique in the multiple instances of the same documents. Initially, version is blank, and the first document version being created will be alphabetic. For example, starting with A, and then the next version will be B, then C, and so on. There is a data source configuration that can modify this behavior, such that versioning of documents will be set to numeric. For example, 1, 2, 3 instead of A, B, C. Also, original document version can be preset to either A or 1 instead of just being blank. Let's go ahead and hit OK and the changes has been applied. Since we have modified the data source configuration, when we bring a new document into ProjectWise via drag and drop, See how the version for this document has been set to 1 compares to the existing documents. The version is blank. And then also the sequence for this document is set to 0 since this is still the original document. There are three different methods for versioning of documents to happen. First, when we have been working on the document and during check-in, we will be asked if we want to create a new version of the document. If we enable the option create new version during check-in and leave the version as is, ProjectWise will create a new version of the document and will automatically take care of the version for us. For instance, the latest version will have the version 2 and sequence set to 1. Another way to create a version of the document is via drag and drop. When we bring a document into ProjectWise and it already existed in a folder with the same name, it will prompt with the following dialog. Enable the option, create a new version of existing document and hit OK. When our existing document has attributes assigned to it, it is important to disable the option, remove attribute sheets of the target document. This way, the attributes from the existing documents will be carried over to the new version of the document. Also, if we leave the version untouched, ProjectWise will automatically take care of the version for us. Go ahead and hit OK. This time, our latest version of the document is 3 and the sequence is set to 2. Finally, the third method of creating a version of the document is by selecting the document itself. Noticing there are multiple documents with exactly the same name. The one with the pencil icon is the latest version and the older versions are associated with the open book icon. In ProjectWise, we can only create a version of the document from the latest version. So we will right mouse click, new, version. If we hit OK, the next version of the document will be version 4. However, if we need to roll back to a particular version, we can click on Edit. For instance, we want to switch the original copy of the document and to make it the active and latest version. 
we can select it and click on change. ProjectWise will ask if we want to confirm this. Go ahead and hit OK. So what it's doing right now is that the latest version, version 4 of the document, really the content of it is the same as version 1 of the document. If we must, we can actually change the version to say that the content is exactly the same as version 1. However, once we manually update the version, ProjectWise will no longer help us to automatically version the document for us. So let's go ahead and just leave it as empty and then close it. Another way that we can update the version label is by opening the document properties and change it here. So once again, if we don't have to modify the version manually, we should just leave it untouched so that ProjectWise will take care of the version for us. Let's go ahead and hit close. Since version 4 of the document and version 1 are exactly the same, we can actually delete the older version of the document by selecting the document itself and delete it and hit yes. However, if we are deleting the latest version of the document, we will be warned that all the versions of the same document will also be deleted. The reason is that the older versions of the document only exist because of the latest version of the document. So in this case, we are going to say no, we don't want to delete the document. Currently, our user profile has been set up so that we are able to see all versions of the document. We can modify our user profile so that only latest version of the document will be shown. Here's how. Go to the Tools menu bar, select Options, Settings, and then Document List. Disable Show All Versions. Let's go ahead and hit Apply. And as we can see, only the latest version of the documents are displayed. Let's go ahead and turn it back on so we can see all versions of the documents. And since we are here, let's also discuss another option as well. Remember we clicked on the Edit button to allow us to roll back to another version? If we want to prevent users from rolling back versions, we can disable the option under User Interface, Can Edit Versions. Since our user profile has been set up, to show all versions of documents, it will be handy to know that when we search for documents via advanced search, we can specify as well, we are only interested in searching for the latest version of document by enabling the option only current. So now we can see only the latest version of the document that satisfy the search criteria will be returned. Otherwise, all versions of the document that satisfy the search criteria will be returned in the search result. Versioning CAD documents are exactly the same as versioning any other type of documents. So let's see how it behaves when we version attached references and XREFs. Here we have a CAD document with attached reference files and one of which has a version of 5. When we version this attached reference file and hit OK, the CAD document will automatically link to the latest version of the attached reference file, which is version 6. This is how ProjectWise behaves by default, but it can be changed via a data source configuration in the administrator module. Enabling this option will prevent ProjectWise from automatically pointing to the latest version of attached references. If we need to manually choose an older version of the attached reference file, we can select the CAD document and right mouse click, Set, Manage Reference Versions. Here we can choose an older version of the attached reference file by clicking on the select version and choose the older version of the reference file and hit OK. Now we can see the CAD document no longer attached to the latest version of the reference file. There is a little trick 
that you may find it useful. When we have a CAD document with attached references, and we want to version the CAD document along with all its attached references to the same version, we can achieve this by selecting the entire set, the CAD document and its references, and right mouse click, New Version, and hit OK. Now we have both the CAD documents and its references all point to the same version. So now we have the CAD document of version 2 pointing to version 2 of the references. We have the original version of the CAD document pointing to the original version of the references. During this lesson, we have learned the three different methods to version documents as well as versioning of CAD and non-CAD documents, what you watch out for when we deal with CAD references. We also learn how to display the latest version of document as well as displaying all versions of documents. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.